Hey folks, welcome back to another video here. This is DoorDash Sucks channel. It's a uh, Monday night around almost 6 o'clock, uh, April 3rd. Um, I uh, tried to end my, or try to reschedule one of my dashes for 4 o'clock to 4.30 and it wouldn't let me do it, so I deleted it. And it was letting me mess around with, you know, doing things up until after three o'clock. So three o'clock was when, uh, on today, on April 3rd, where it kicked in, where, you know, the, the dash now was not available anymore. So I kind of screwed myself on that. Wouldn't allow me to dash till 6.30. So I, I decided to do a little bit of Uber. And I mean, Uber is just horrendously bad in my area. It is, it's so terrible. But um, I got a a first order for like 690.91 going 4.4 miles. I was like, okay, it's about two to the restaurant and another two to deliver it. So then I'm waiting around and I and I got one. It came through as 1050, right? And I forgot to look at the little, little tiny dot that's that would have said two on it because when I picked it up, when I picked up the order, it said, oh, head to your next restaurant. So they're trying to give me two $5 orders stacked and I'm not even in a busy area. Like, I'm in a moderately, you know, just mediocre area, right? But if you're in the city and you're doing Uber, they'll stack as many as five, six, seven orders. I've seen it. I've seen it come through on for me. And um, anyways, long story short, um, I, I have to, myself, I have to be vigilant. You know, I have to really keep note of that. And whenever Uber comes through, always make sure you look to the right middle corner of the screen and see if it says one, two, three, or more. Always try to make sure it says one, unless you want to take the stacked, you know, if it's enough money. But remember folks, they're always going to try to leave you one with no or low tips in there. And, um, Anyways, the second restaurant that I was going to pick up at, it would have took probably 25 minutes of waiting time, so I'm glad I didn't do it. This one's only a mile away, so even if it's five bucks or whatever, it you know, it, it isn't bad, but uh, I screwed up myself looking at it, you know, because I, I just take for granted, oh, it's 10 bucks going a mile. They, they can never give you a good one, can they, folks? They always have to give you ones that are just convoluted, just insane. So with that said, I just wanted to uh, bring that to your attention about Uber Eats because I forgot how terrible they, they really are. <laughs> like they, they, uh, they are like the worst. I mean, in my market anyways. Some of you may swear by them, but uh, oh, they're just terrible. Look at this. Here's, here's one coming through and I'm not even dropped off yet. I'm not even dropped off, right? I'm not doing it. Let me tell you what's crazy about this, this order here. It's, uh, this is a good restaurant, and there's no way this is a $5 order, so no way am I taking it. That's the end of that. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to drop off over here. Make a right turn on Worsted Street. And then I'll be done with this order, but, uh, oh, man. I mean, it's like when they get, you know, the, it's Make all... Make a right turn on Joy Street, then drop off on the right. It's all algorithmic. It's all algorithmic. Whatever you take is what they try to keep sending you, you know, because they think that you love that, you know. All right, hold on a second. I'll be right back. Okay, folks, so just wanted to finish off this video just saying that, um, you know, I got onto a street, too, with no, like, no mocking numbers on the, um, <laughs> on the houses, it, you know, very little. And the GPS is just horrible. And I have to make sure that I... See, every time you update the app, when you update your apps, it defaults back to the original thing. So I have to go into the settings. So I'm actually going to do it right here. You go into the settings. You go to account. You go into app settings. Go into navigation. And then you use... Okay, it is on... Okay, let's see. It is on Google maps okay uh wow maybe they did something where it now recognizes that you have adjusted it and it stays on that which is cool if that's the case um but it's kind of nuts <laughs> so um yeah so anyways 
just be aware of Uber tricking you into taking something that you think is 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 good because they they're always going to send you crap. And I I really fully believe that Uber is fully engaged in completely stealing as much money as they can from the drivers as far as uh as far as like just ripping off the the um you know the tips and stuff like I mean I mean look at this look at this while I'm making this video look at the trip radar folks three dollars and thirty thirty eight cents for eight point eight miles I mean really I mean you know even a newbie would be a complete idiot to take that in about a minute I bet you that that will come through here because the trip rate it shows trip radar and when you don't take it then they force it to you they send it to you right I mean, if you're new and you're listening to this channel, folks, please don't get duped into these app companies by having them manipulate you into taking deliveries that you don't want to take, you know, and that you shouldn't take because that is not a profitable order. You will actually lose money by taking that type of an order. Like that that's just absolute insanity. And even at this point, like if you're not making 2 to 1 ratios on your on your um on your deliveries then you're not doing well. None of you are. That's why, I, like, I get, I, I just laugh at these channels that say they make all kinds of money and everything. Like, it, it's it's such a lie. It's it's only because they want to get their channel views so they can get paid in other ways, other sources. That's all it is. It's sad. And I'm not saying every single person, but the majority of them are definitely not making what they say they make. I don't care what anyone says. I know different. But anyways, that's about enough of this video. Um, I just wanted to um, bring that to your attention because it kind of aggravated me that I got, you know, that I took it and I just got lax by not, I just saw it, you know. Of course, they flashed a big money sign at you, 1050, right, going, I mean, first of all, it wasn't even a good order. It was six miles. But I'm glad I unassigned the one that was going further for the, for like, they probably had one in there for six miles for five bucks you know what i mean this one was only a mile so i didn't get screwed completely on it and then i'm near this restaurant where i can go to so anyways uh just beware of these companies folks they're they're atrocious and uber is 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 the worst they really are i would say they're the worst and doordash is second to them and then everything else follows suit after them but it's i guess that's a matter of opinion Anyways, write in the comments what you think. Thank you for listening to this video, and I will catch you guys and gals on the next video. Take care.